Hi, second grade, Ms. Fry Vogel here. Today you will need a pencil and a notebook or a piece of paper for our lesson. We're going to be reviewing sentence punctuation today. So here are some examples. So here are the examples of our sentence punctuation. If we have a statement or a command, we would use a period. If we have a question, we would use a question mark. We have an exclamation if we're really excited about something, we'd use an exclamation mark. Then when we use a comma, we use it before and, but, or, and so when we join sentences. Let's look at some examples. We have art on Wednesdays. That is a statement, so there is a period at the end. That's a fact. When do we have gym? It's a question. We're trying to figure out when we have gym, so we would use a question mark. Tomorrow is Friday. Super excited about Friday. So we have an exclamation point at the end of that sentence. We have black studies today, so we do not have character ed. We combined two sentences to get a longer compound sentence. And we put a comma before the word so. All right, now that we've looked at some examples, let's go ahead and try to figure out the punctuation on our own. We're going to go ahead and read through this paragraph, and we're going to fill in the punctuation, either with a period or an exclamation point as we read it. Let us go ahead and start. One time I went apple picking by myself. That's a statement, right? It's not super exciting. So we can go ahead in our square and put a period. It was hard for me to find the perfect apples. Okay, it's another statement, add a period. First, I tried to pick the biggest apples I could find. Another statement again, pick a period. Boy, they started to get really heavy. That's a little bit more exciting, so we'll use an exclamation point there. Flat, I dropped all of them on the ground. I would say that's also an exclamation point, right? We're showing some excitement. Most of the apples rolled away. Sounds like a fact. Let's put a period for our statement. Oh no, I had to start over. I would say that that's an exclamation point. Show something exciting happening. So I decided to look for smaller apples. Period. I looked and looked for a tree with lots of small apples. Okay, so still be a statement. Still add a period. Wow, I finally found one. Pretty excited about that. Let's give it an exclamation point. Looking at the smaller apples was easier for me. Go ahead and write down if you think that's a period or an exclamation point. Picking the smaller apples was easier for me. Should do a period because that's just a statement, right? They're just saying picking the smaller apples was easier for me. About next sentence. Gee, I don't think that I dropped one single apple. About if that would be a period for a statement, or if it's a little bit more exciting, it should get an exclamation point. What do you think? I think it has an exclamation point, right? They're a little bit more excited because they haven't dropped any apples. Our next sentence. I took my apples home to make a pie. Think about if that is a period or an exclamation point. I took my apples home to make a pie is a statement, so it's just going to get a period. Yum! Definitely an exclamation point. Pie sure was delicious. We could add one more exclamation point on the end of that. All right, for our next activity, we're going to be working with periods and question marks to see if we can figure out what punctuation goes with which of these apples. 
go ahead and number your paper one through 12. We're gonna do the first four together and you'll do the rest on your own. We're only using periods or question marks. Number one, let's pick the apples. Not a question, it is a statement. So we'll put a period next to number one. Number two, where are the apples? That word where makes me know that that is a question. So where are the apples gets a question. Number three, the apples are in the trees. Again, that's another statement, right? Not a question. So it'll be a period. And number four, how many apples should we pick? How lets us know that that is a question and it needs a question mark. I'm gonna go ahead and read the rest of your apples, I would like you to pause after each one so you can write down the correct punctuation. Click play when you're ready. We'll do them one by one and we'll review them at the end. Number five, pick all of the ripe apples. Does that get a period or a question mark? Pause the video if you need to to write it down. Number six, take the apples to the market. Does that need a period or a question mark? Number seven, who will buy the apples? Does that get a period or a question mark? Number eight, people buy the apples. Does that get a period or a question mark? Number nine, all the way on the left by my icon, what are apples used for? Does that get a period or a question mark? Number 10, Apples can be used to make pies. Does that get a period or a question mark? 11, apples can be used to make cider. Does that get a period or a question mark? And number 12, apples are a healthy snack. Does that get a period or a question mark? Let's go ahead and review what punctuation you should have chosen for each apple. Okay, number five, you should have a period. Pick all of the ripe apples is a statement. Number six, take the apples to the market is also a period, it's just a statement. Number five, pick all of the ripe apples. That's a command, you're telling someone to do something, so it just gets a period. Number six, take the apples to the market. Again, it's a command, telling someone to do something, gets a period. Number seven, who will buy the apples? We see the word who, which gives us a hint that that's going to be a question, and every question gets a question mark. Number eight, people buy apples. That is a statement, so you would get a period. Number nine, all the way to the left, down by my icon, what are apples used for? That gets a question mark. We see the word what, which gives us a hint that it is a question, so it is a question mark. Number 10, apples can be used to make pies. That is a statement, gets a period. 11, apples can be used to make cider, also a statement, which gets a period. And our last one, number 12, apples are a healthy snack. It's another statement and our statements get periods. Great job today, I will see you later.